hot news now on what is our top story as Italy's Prime Minister prepares to stand down. Other parties are stepping up their pitch to fill the gap. They include the anti-establishment Five Star Movement. Manlioli Stefano is a member of that party, a member of the Italian Parliament. And joining us now from Rome, your response briefly to the vote. Firstly... First of all, thank you for inviting me and good afternoon. Well, uh, this response was made by the people willing to have a government that listened to them. I mean, uh, this referendum was on the constitutional reform, so obviously there is a certain part of the voters that went to the matter of the constitutional reform that was terrible, and the other part of the voters voted on Mr. Renzi because he said this referendum was on him. And when you have all the power, like he had, to, 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 to reform the country for two years, and what mm. you do is just saving banks and saving financial institutions with the people money, while in the country there is the 63% right. of youth unemployment, you, you failed. And that's what people ha said yesterday. Uh, just explain what your party stands for. You are certainly anti-establishment, that is clear. But what does a party actually stand for? There have been uh, lots of votes of congratulation, as it were, for both your party and the far-right Northern League today, from parties who are described as nationalist, as populist, uh, as, uh, as leading very much to the right uh, across Europe. Is that, do you feel that that's what you represent as a movement? That's the international storytelling. <laughs> the truth is that we were born in 2009 and immediately we, in, in all the institutions we have been, so from the municipalities to the um, parliament now, we did what we said and with promises in the elections. So people understood that we came from a protest, obviously, we came for a protest, from a protest, but then we became the proposals. Right. And now we are the party with the strongest electoral program. And if you want to know basic things, we want to discuss about the, our financial institutions. Because if you think about Italy, if an entrepreneur want to, wants to open a, a, a small company in Italy, it has mm. to be a hero. Because you don't have any bank giving you money, you, you have to pay taxes in advance. And we pay the 67% of taxation since the very beginning. And this country is made of the 80% of small businesses, what you call made in Italy, the very famous one, is made right. by small uh, entrepreneurs. So if you don't think to these people, you will lose the country, and we are losing it. So our electoral program is made of this, is made of uh, uh, good deals with the other international partners, without the, 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 the storytelling of uh, we are friend of this right. and the enemy of the other one, we want to be friend of everyone. Okay. <laughs> Let me, let me put this to you. If you were to be successful in a coalition that could govern the country going forward, would that be uh, a movement, a coalition that wanted out of the Eurozone and out of Europe? It's a really basic question. Well, uh, I want to clarify. This is not the, our first point in a political agenda. Uh, our first point, as I said before, is the labor market and is the, to fix the issues that we have in, inside the country. But go, give, coming to your point, uh, the big mistake that was done by the left wing in 2001, Mr. Prodi, was to bring Italy into the eurozone without asking to people, and people recognize this big mistake. So now they want to choose. What we promised, what we promised in the in the election for the European uh, uh, for the European election, sorry, was to uh, uh, give people a referendum on the eurozone. The result of this referendum will be our political uh, right. uh, decision. What we what we said in, and we demonstrated in these three years is that we are representing people. So we want to ask them. I think, uh, well, you've been on the winning side of a referendum. Uh, many politicians across Europe will say referenda are uh, not doing them any favours whatsoever. But I, I, I hear you, your point. Look, for our viewers' sake, uh, who, who may not know, uh, uh, you know that much about Italian politics and are learning more as we tell this story, would you identify yourselves 
as things stand today, within the wave that has instated Donald Trump in the US, that would be sympathetic to the views of, for example, the Russian leader, Vladimir Putin, and France's National Front leader, Marine Le Pen. Again, a very simple question. No, we are not in the same wave, meaning that uh, we act like anti-establishment party with a lot of proposals. Uh, Mr. Trump, uh, that I respect, uh, and I respect the answer of the American people, uh, is obviously is not the anti-establishment guy, I mean, he's a billionaire, and the Brexit, another, another thing too, uh, we are uh, different in, 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 in this way. We are leaderless. We have no political, we have no party structure. We mm. decide without asking to people on our, uh, electoral, on our uh, informatic system on the web. So we are very uh, popular in a beautiful sense, meaning that we listen to people. So no, it's not the same way, but there is, there is one, one, one thing very... that connects all the dots yes very shortly but well, something that connects all the dots there is there is a wave all around the world of people asking to be listened so we are this in italy and uh, who knows who are the other parties like this in the in the rest of the world we are in italy this kind of party yes okay we're gonna have to leave it there we thank you very much indeed for joining us the five star movement thank you is denying alleged links to fake news sites. That's after BuzzFeed published this article saying the party has an entire network of websites and social media accounts to spread false stories and conspiracy theories. Now, a five-star movement spokesman told Connect the World before this show began that the real fake news is the BuzzFeed article. The reason I bring this up at the at this point is that customers at a US restaurant saw firsthand what happens when fake news online has real life consequences. Police in